Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this press conference in the very snowy Davos at the 48th annual meeting at, for the World Economic Forum. Thank you for joining us in the room and on live stream. Today I'm joined by my panelist, Tazisios Kazil, um, Mayor of Davos. Unfortunately, um, the Ulrich Spierhoff, uh, the CEO of ABB, won't be able to join us because of that aforementioned snow. But Christoph Sieder, uh, head of communication at ABB, will be joining us. So today, I will invite my panelists to speak on this partnership for sustainable transportation. Mr. Kazili, please go ahead. Thank you very much for this introduction. Dear Mr. Cedar from ABB, dear participants of the World Economic Forum, dear media representatives, dear guests, it is a great pleasure for me to welcome you in the name of the municipality of Davos to today's media event. In fall 2017, the municipality of Davos and ABB decided to go into a partnership in the field of e-mobility. Actually, this partnership consists of an electric bus project during the annual meeting 2018, as well as the installation of eight electric charging stations for private e-mobility within the city boundaries. All the projects are hopefully to follow. For the municipality of the force, this partnership is a unique possibility to enlarge its infrastructure for private e-mobility and to gain experience with e-mobility in the public transport sector. We are very pleased to have the first e-bus fast charging in the Foes for the next days. Only a few days ago, this bus has won the World Door Award 2018, which is awarded by the Swiss Federation Office of Energy for excellent energy performance. The municipality of Davos has been focusing on a consistent and goal-oriented energy policy for many years. In 2011, Davos was the first municipality in Canton of Greece to get the label of an energy city. This label is given to cities that are promoting renewable energies and ecologically sensitive mobility and efficient use of our resources. Since its certification as an energy city, the municipality of Davos has been concentrating its efforts mainly on energy saving measures in its own buildings and companies being a role model for its inhabitants be by doing so. Many municipality buildings were energetically refurbished and, he heat and the heating systems were changed to system using renewable energies. In the sector of mobility, the municipality has focused its efforts on an attractive public transport and on promoting measures for non-motorized traffic. With the new e-bus project during this year's World Economic Forum, the public transport company of the force gets the possibility to tie in with its pioneer work in 1999. At that time, the public transport company changed its gas station to sulfur-free diesel and installed waste gas treatments in its buses. Today, all public buses of the Foss and its partners are equipped with oxidation catalyzers and particle filters. Most of the tradition traction power is gained by SCR technology. However, CO2 emissions could not be reduced significantly so far. This is only possible by emission-free systems such as e-buses. The present e-bus test is therefore very important to see if a permanent use of a buses on 1,500 meters above sea level is possible. Of course, electricity is gained to 100% by hydro hydroelectric power from the Foss and the canton of Griesens. 
Dear ladies and gentlemen, we have been aware since many years that we have to decrease our CO2 emissions in order to prevent further cl climate change. And we know that this cannot only be done in the sector of heating, but that, but that we need to change our mobility as well. Our results in the mobility sector were little so far, but it is the present project and co cooperation with ABB that allows us to go a step further. We can gain experience with emission-free power systems for public and private transport, and we will hopefully be able to continue our pioneer work in this field. We are happy to present our EBUS project project to a large international public during this year's World Economic Forum. So thank you for your attention. Actually, there will be right after this press conference an opportunity for you to try. There will be a demonstration of these award-winning e-buses and you'll be able to see and uh, experience that. So now I'm going to ask Mr. Cedar uh, to explain the involvement of ABB in this partnership. Thank you very much, and thank you very much, Tarsisius, and thank you all for coming. Um, of course, we're thrilled about this partnership, and uh, we're very excited that we can announce this here today at the, right at the beginning of the World Economic Forum 2018. Davos has always been a city that looks forward and leads the way, and we at ABB are honored to have been able to support the city in doing just that for well over a century. In the 1890s, our predecessor company, BBC, equipped the Davos power station with a transformer and a generator, amongst other equipment. And we electrified the Davos Platz Schatzalp funicular railway that many of you are familiar with already back in 1924. The local utility grid, powered by hydroelectric generators and solar installations, employs ABB technology. And now we are partnering with Davos to install some of our most advanced e-mobility infrastructure systems for both public and private transportation. So why are we doing this and why are we doing this here and now? Quite simply, so that participants attending this year's World Economic Forum meeting can witness how efficient and effective e-mobility already is today. The centerpiece of this partnership will be the same ABB electric bus charging technology that won the prestigious Swiss Innovation Award, Watt Door. It's a revolutionary new flash charging solution for electric buses that is emission-free, silent, and requires no overhead lines or embedded tracks. This is Toza. It looks just like a regular city bus until you look carefully at the roof. There, you will find a laser-controlled moving arm which connects in less than a second to an overhead receptacle integrated into the bus shelter. Its flash charging technology delivers a 20 second high power charge at selected bus stops as passengers leave or are boarding the bus. This is world record time. Thanks to recharging along the route, the battery size and the weight of the bus have been reduced, resulting in increased space for passengers and greater overall energy efficiency. So while these e-buses have smaller, quick-charge batteries, they're big enough to carry more passengers and they can cha change their routes when needed. So Toza paves the way to a better future for people who live in cities. ABB first installed Toza in Geneva. And we have been contracted to supply this technology for a new fleet of 24-meter articulated buses in the French city of Nantes. When complete, those buses are projected to carry some 2,500 commuters every hour. The beauty of the Toza system is its flexibility. It can be applied to fully electric or hybrid buses and can be charged wherever there's a roof-mounted connector. For the duration of the World Economic Forum, our Toza flash charging system will be running from the tourist information center to the hospital. The charging stations at bus stops along this route will be powered by curbside transformers, which take alternating current from the power grid and convert it to direct current used by the e-bus. ABB is very pleased to partner with Davos on this installation, given its deserved reputation as a city that promotes scalable, sustainable, green urban development projects. We strongly support such projects. 
We're complementing the temporary Tosa bus route with eight permanent Terra multi-standard DC charging stations for private cars. And many of the trains serving Davos are equipped with ABB technology, as is the power grid, powered by hydroelectric generators and solar installations. In short, Davos has adopted an end-to-end -end electric mobility system that will serve as a potential global model for clean, climate-friendly, sustainable transport. Sustainable transport solutions make up an important part of ABB's extensive portfolio of clean, energy-efficient technologies. We've worked particularly hard in recent years to expand our position as the world's leading provider of electric vehicle fast charging stations, with more than 6,000 chargers installed in already 56 countries. And through our recently announced partnership with the Formula E electric car racing organization, ABB is helping to refine the design and functionality of electric vehicles and infrastructure, as well as associated digital platforms. We are here because we want to show the world that our e-mobility solutions are as resilient and reliable as they are simple and elegant. The World Economic Forum is an ideal location for this e-mobility initiative because the WEF serves as an enabler and connector. Its goal is to improve the state of the world by engaging business, political, academic and other leaders of society to shape global, regional and industry agendas. It is our hope that by showcasing the latest e-mobility solutions here, we can underline that transport technologies present a tremendous opportunity in the fight against climate change. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we might have a few minutes for questions, so I'm going to open up the floor um, and then we can go ahead. So uh, Mike will come to you. Please state your name and the organization that you're with. Uh, thank you. Two, two questions. One is not really related to this. Uh, Mr. Mayor, would you give us an indication on the snow and how Davos has been handling uh, the snow? Because I believe it's three weeks now that you're having to work overtime. Maybe just give us a little bit of background to that. And uh, Mr. Cedar, could you maybe update us on Solar Impulse? It made a, a big splash here uh, last year, and now it's been quiet for the next year. So perhaps what's going on on that side? Thank you. So at the, at the moment we have a lot of problems with uh, the snow in the last uh, 48 hours uh, became um, more than two meters of snow and that's a big problem for us because we have always to transport the snow out of the foes and we don't have uh, at the moment uh, enough places to, to uh, keep out uh, the snow. So we have problems with uh, avalanches. In, in the morning, we tried to shoot the avalanches. So uh, two uh, of ten, they go down, uh, and the other eight we must try tomorrow. I hope that tomorrow we don't we can fly with the helicopter, and I hope that we can um, shoot the other avalanches. But it will be okay. Uh, I hope so. Tomorrow it's finished with snow and. Uh, we will have uh, tomorrow and uh, the other two or three, three days of this week beautiful weather with a lot of sunshine and uh, then we don't have so much problems as we had the last time. So we tried to shoot the avalanche with uh, the helicopter, so with a, a gas, gas um, uh, bomb, it's this the, the, right, uh, the right word. So, and then um, the bomb um, uh, one meter, two meters over the, the snow level, there is uh, an explosion and then the avalanche, uh, we hope so that they go, goes uh, down. It's uh, uh, not so easy to do it when we, we, we need a lot of, uh, although we need the beautiful weather that we can fly with the helicopter and tomorrow at 10 o'clock, one avalanche, just one, uh, goes down in uh, in the Fosdorf. Uh, regarding your question about Solar Impulse, so Solar Impulse was a very exciting project for us. Um, ABP is a pioneering technology company serving utilities, industry, transport, and infrastructure. And obviously, for us, it was key to be associated with the project. We got engaged heavily. We had engineers on the project, 
And as you all know, um, it turned out to be not a one-year project, but a two-year project. So in 2016, when it finally successfully circumnavigated the world as the first uh, plane in human history and not using a single drop of fossil fuel, we were, I guess, as thrilled as Bertrand Picard was and Andre Boschberg, our dear friends. We're still in close contact, but as you know, the program was wrapped up afterwards. Um, and so at the moment, there is no further plans uh, for Solar Impulse to roll out a second such project, from our understanding at least. But we were highly, highly pleased with the outcome, with a lot of R&D work that we put into, and we learned a lot from that project um, that we will now apply for our customer benefits. So we have one more a time for one more question on the sustainable transportation. Go ahead. Andreas Schwander, Basler Zeitung. I have a question concerning the, the bus stops and the charging system. So how much kilowatts can charge at one time? And how, if you have then a fleet of buses, uh, how much would be the investment into infrastructure if you would have to put it up, for example, with the example in Nantes? Let me, answer, well, let me start answering with the, your second question. Obviously, the benefit of the system is that you do not require uh, an overhead infrastructure. You don't need any sort of uh, wayside lines to be installed So, uh, versus the current existing uh, trolleybus system. It's a huge advantage in that sense and of course then also from a maintenance perspective uh, it's much more efficient. Um, and then it depends obviously on the terrain, on the uh, topology of the bus line, uh, whether it's a hilly terrain, whether it's uh, a flat terrain, whether you have a lot of stops at traffic uh, lights, uh, and then you need to design the bus line according uh, to the needs, where will most of the people board, where you have the heaviest load. So that's, like I said, it's the beauty is its flexibility. Uh, it can be installed anywhere. It can also be installed, for example, especially in suburban areas, so where you, uh, the, the construction of overhead lines would be very expensive, um, so uh, taking from the city centers to the outskirts. Um, so there we see a, a huge market and a huge potential. Also, of course, if you have cities where you have a historic uh, um, monument or where that under historic protection, and then you don't need to have all the cabling and wiring, uh, or cities like Davos, where you know you have to serve a lot of you have, as you know, Davos is a very long stretched city, but then you have a lot of. Uh, outskirts uh, uh, settlements that you can reach with that EPA solution in a quite inexpensive and efficient way. So that's what we believe. Regarding the voltage, uh, I would like to throw the question to our expert, Saswato, here. Do you know the highest voltage possible? 600 kilowatts. Yeah. Yes. It's flash charging. Yes, it's, it's a robot arm that comes out with the cable and that connects uh, to the bus. Uh, and therefore it's a flash charging technology, like I said, it's world record, um, so it, we can do it actually in 15 seconds. The requirement in Geneva uh, was uh, to do it within 20 seconds, but it can be done in 15 seconds. I just ask you to Sorry, speak into you the need the 600 kilowatt cable, a relatively thick cable with how much ampere, to go to this uh, bus stop, which before used only electricity for lighting, isn't it? Just whether you can answer. Yeah, the idea is if you did it so quickly, then the grid would trip. So as the buses are moving, slowly the, there's a battery that's being charged, and when the bus comes, it gives the charge in a flash. Mm -hmm. So that way, it does not uh, trip the grid. So it draws from the grid very slowly, Right, right. Okay. Uh, very quick question. We'll <laughs> take it, and then yeah. we'll have to wrap up. Thank you for your enthusiasm. It's my third time to be here, but I found it is the most uh, terrible uh, traffic jam here today. And our bus from Zurich to here cost our cost us maybe four hours, much, much longer than usual. So can, do you think this problem will be improved or what can we do for it? <laughs> I, I don't know. The problem is that we have so, so much of snow. What shall we do? It's impossible. We must uh, uh, put the snow or try to, to bring the snow out of, of uh, the force and um, 
we can do nothing. Uh, we hope that uh, tomorrow uh, or the tomorrow morning during this night, I hope that we became uh, maybe 20 or 30 centimeters of, of snow, maybe a half of a, mate, a meter. The only what you can do is take the train or take the the, the public transport mm-hmm. possibility that we have. The, you can take the train um, from the Vosdorf to the Vosplatz or to Klosters. Mm-hmm. Or that's the the only what you can do. Okay. The best is you take the ABB train. <laughs> okay. And on <laughs> that the, note, the ABB uh, e-bus. Yes. On that note, I will thank you all for joining us today for this press conference, for the people in the room and online. And I again invite you to go to the demonstration to see these award-winning e-buses. Thank you. Thank you very much.